Correct! It's just a part of you joining my company. Correct! It's just a part of you joining my company. In front of me. No. This was not supposed to happen to me. I came here to sign papers to move into company housing. That was all this was supposed to be about. Uh, this... This is a marriage registration form. Correct! It's just a part of you joining my company. Kosuke Hibiki, I want you to take my granddaughter as your wife. He makes it sound like he's recommending a dessert with the food I ordered. Seriously, what is going on? You're a kind, gentle-hearted man. I've been searching for a man like you. Grandfather, why are you doing this? Yes, exactly what I wanted to ask. I have no idea how things turned out like this. I guess it started about a month ago. I went to work that day with a bright future in mind. Let me explain. My previous company was unethical and exploitative. Work hours were non-existent while I was with them. Work became my life, and it was as if they expected me to dedicate my life to them. I got sick of it and decided to end it that day. I was finally free, and it felt great. Best day of my life. I was practically skipping down the streets in joy. I wondered if I should take some time off. I worked my ass off. I deserved it. Just then, I saw an old man crouched on the ground. He looked hurt. He stopped me from calling an ambulance, saying he lived nearby and didn't want to cause a scene. Anyways, I couldn't walk away after seeing him on the ground. I decided to take him home, and I carried him on my back. I couldn't believe what I saw when we arrived at the house he gave directions to. What the heck? A looming gate and a pond in the garden? I thought my neck would break looking up at the whole place. It was a huge mansion, the kind that only exists in movies. This man, this old man, turned out to be THE Ikuzo Amachi, the chairman of a big Zaibatsu, the Amachi Group. He invited me inside and gave me his card. I started visiting him from time to time. I'll admit the friendship between us was a lot to get used to. I see. So you quit your company. Wow. Everything is working out just great. How would you like to start working for me? What? Is he asking me to work for him? Is this real? What did I do to deserve this? I don't know anybody who would say no to such an opportunity. I accepted his offer, obviously. However... Just think of it as my last wish. I feel myself creeping towards death every day. All I want is to see a great-grandchild before I die. Is that too much to ask from you? Ah, some people can be so self-centered and cruel. Where is God when I need him the most? I want to ask him to forgive you. Young people these days, they keep sinning, not caring for what their elderly wish during their last days on Earth. Uh, please, I'm sure we could... Stop, Kosuke-san! Oh, so you accept! This is great! We have a lot of planning to do! Don't worry, I've got everything under control! What? I never said I would! We've got the whole thing planned out! Come on! We have no time to waste! Oh my gosh, now nothing can stop him until he gets what he wants! How did we end up here? It happened all so fast. I still don't know how Amachi-san did it, but suddenly, there we were, standing side by side in front of a huge condo. Whoa. Grandfather, he's just so... This room is insane. I feel like I just walked into a completely different dimension. It's so big. It was completely different from the cheap apartment room I lived in. This must be a dream or something. I'm so sorry for what my grandfather is doing to you. Hey, it's not your fault, Kotone-san. I should have made a stronger argument. Still, the problem remains. My contract with the old apartment owner is terminated, and my parents live far away. Well, uh, we could live here, if you want to. I mean, just until you find a new place, you know. Huh? But that means we'll be living together, Kotone-san. Are you sure you're okay with that? 
Uh, I don't mind. As long as you're okay with it, I trust you. Enough to believe you won't do anything dangerous. She's so kind-hearted and admirable. She tickled my heart in a way I never thought would happen. Now that I think about it, she's always been like this. I wonder why it's so easy to talk to Kotone-san. It comes naturally. I haven't had much experience talking to women, but for some reason, it was easy for me to open up to her. We even call each other by our first names now. You know, I don't mind spending time with Kotone-san. I feel comfortable and at home whenever I'm around her, and I just can't seem to leave her be. Hey, you... You're always standing right there. It's because I don't have any friends. Here, take my hand. We can hang out together. Are you sure? Uh, hmm? Was that... a dream? I remember. It's faint. But I know that memory. It happened back when I was a kid. And the girl... I see dreams from my childhood often these days. I wonder why. Is it because so much has been happening? Wow, this looks great! I'm starving! This is the breakfast I've been dreaming of! I found myself oohing over the meal she made. Gosh, how can she know all of my favorites? Hey, Kotone-san! I didn't know you were this good at cooking. This miso soup is amazing! It's just how I like it! I'm glad to hear that. I used to practice cooking and cleaning when I was a kid. Back then, there was only this one boy that I really wanted to marry. So I'm happy to see that all my hard work is paying off right now. Jeez, I am so jealous of that guy! What did he do to get her to like him so much? So, uh, the guy you were talking about. Did you end up dating him? It was a long time ago, and you know... I don't think he remembers me. What? What a jerk. After all the hard work you put in for him. <laughs> I know, right? Thanks to him, I've been single my whole life. It's a pretty sad story if you ask me. You'll find Kotone-san's name if you look up perfect girl in the dictionary. I can't believe she's never had a boyfriend, but knowing she's the chairman's granddaughter, I don't have the guts to go for her. Kotone-san took good care of me. Every single day. It was like she was trying to make up for everything her grandfather did. She was dedicated and assiduous. And not just at home. She looked out for me at work as well. Yes, yes. I'll do everything I can to adjust things to fit your schedule. Kotone-san is so determined at work. I can't believe this is her first year here. She seems like a professional. I was appointed to the same department as Kotone-san. We worked directly under the chairman's orders. Everything was new. I struggled to get used to it. Kotone-san, do you want lunch? I'm sorry, I still have a ton of things to do. Kotone-san always had her head in her work. She gave it her all. I wasn't sure if she ever took any time off. Some of the other employees told me how Kotone-san lost her parents when she was young. She would take over the company since she didn't have any siblings. She's desperately trying to learn as much as she can to be enough to fill her grandfather's position. I couldn't dare tell her to take it easy. Not after seeing how determined she was. Still, there must be... There must be something I can do to help her. I've been feeling this way since before I started living with her. Kotone-san tends to overwork herself, and I should be the one to do something about it. Hey, I finished those documents earlier. I'll get the car for Izuko-san, uh, uh, the chairman. I got this, don't worry. Here's an Obento for you. The shop owner told me this one has the most nutrients in it. Doing all this was nothing compared to the hell my previous company put me through. I did everything I could think of to support Kotone-san and her work. Wow, he's good. I think he's the fastest learner out of all of us. I'm impressed. I agree. 
Katone, you worked yourself too hard. You always look like you're tired. I was starting to get worried about you, but not anymore. That man has been doing a great job helping you out. Um, you don't have to do that for me. Kotone-san, you must be exhausted from work. I live here too. I should help out. But you're always helping me at work. Stop overthinking. Just relax. Just let me know if there's anything else I can do for you, okay? She isn't used to getting help from others. I wish she would rely on other people more. That's the only thing I want her to fix. Are you sure? Okay. Here. How does this feel? Right. You give amazing massages. She's so soft. This is not good. Keep your thoughts clean, Kosuke! Get a grip! This is to help her out! Help her out! Uh, a little down. Uh, t tell me if it hurts, okay? Mm, it feels just right. Oh, stronger there. Clear your head, Kosuke. I'm a massage machine, only existing to soothe her aching back. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but recently, I feel like Kotone-san and I have grown closer. Oh, I'm craving beef stew right now. We should buy tons of meat to put in. Oh, uh, sure. She's so close. Her hair is right under my nose. It smells... so nice. Oh my gosh! Kosuke, we should make some salad too. You never eat your vegetables unless I tell you to. Uh, yeah. Okay, we sound like a real married couple talking about dinner. Watching her smile like that, I realized my heart was pounding hard. It's raining so hard tonight. I hope it stops by tomorrow morning. K kosuke san uh, are you awake? The thunder. I'm terrified of it. <laughs> Can I please stay here with you tonight? What? What's going on? I couldn't say no to a frightened woman, but this is so not appropriate! I, I can feel Kotone-san's warm body against my back! Kosuke-san? Yes? Do you think I'm being childish? The thing is, I can be whatever I feel like when I'm around you. You bring me back to my past self. I hate thunder. Not so fond of rain either. It reminds me of the day I lost my father and mother. Kotone-san. Thank you for everything, Kosuke-san. Kotone-san. I didn't know what the feeling was, but it clutched at my heart. Her grandfather put us where we were, but I couldn't deny it anymore. I can't lie about how I'm feeling anymore. Kotone-san. You... I feel... Oh, I feel awful. I hope it doesn't leave a scar. If... well, if the wound leaves a scar, if it stays with me, will you stay by my side to help me? Another... dream? It's that dream again. It felt more real this time. It's a memory from when I was a kid. There was a girl. We were close back when we were younger. I can't remember what her name was. I cared for her. She was like a little sister to me. Oh yeah, this scar. This happened when I was playing with her. No, oh, please! I want to stay by your side! She was supposed to move that day, but she wouldn't get off the swings because she didn't want to leave. <sighs> what? Am I... seeing things? Kotone-san reminds me of the girl I used to know. Maybe I'm just tired. I've got a lot on my plate these days. Yes, yes! I see that you're both working hard these days! It's all thanks to Kosuke-san. He always reaches out to help whenever I need it. Uh, she's giving me too much credit, sir. Kotone-san is the one who... 
Hey, I'm relieved to see you two helping each other out. I see you're getting along well. Cotone, I'm happy for you. Thanks. I have to... I have to say this now. Excuse me, Amachi-san. Kosuke-san? Kotone-san, I need you to listen to this too. I, uh, well... I think Kotone-san and I... Grandfather, what's wrong? Grandfather! No! Ikuzo-san! We're getting you to the hospital, Ikuzo-san! I immediately called an ambulance. Kotone-san clutched onto her grandfather. Fear and panic pasted on her face. The ambulance took us to the hospital where Ikuzo-san's doctor worked. Kotone-san told me she had been there several times to accompany her grandfather. Luckily, Ikuzo-san's condition gradually improved, and he woke up soon after. However... How could you do this? Why didn't you tell me sooner? I'm sorry. Grandfather, you have cancer, and it's advanced to stage four. Linitis plastica, also known as stomach cancer. Ikuzo-san only had a few years maximum left to live, but even the doctors couldn't predict when he would actually die. Kotone-san, you need to calm down! Did you really think that I was that unreliable? Why didn't you tell me you were dying of cancer? No, that's not why, Kotone. I... No, I won't accept this. You can't leave me behind. I'll be all alone again. I hate you, grandfather. Kotone! Kotone-san! Damn it, I have to get her. Now! She needs me the most now. I can't leave her alone. Kosuke-kun? Ikuzo-san? I'm sorry. I apologize. It's just... After Kotone's parents died, she's been trying hard to survive this world. She always told me she would do her best so I could retire early to enjoy the rest of my life. That's why... I couldn't bring myself to tell her the truth. I don't care about who takes over the company. All I care about is Kotone's happiness. That's all that matters to me. Ikuzo-san. I needed to find somebody who would take good care of her after I'm gone. Ikuzo-san. I promise, I will. I gave Ikuzo-san my word and rushed out of the hospital room to find Kotone-san. <sighs> Where are you, Kotone-san? Damn it! she won't answer her phone! The sun was setting in the west. The area around the hospital was getting darker. No, what if she jumps out into the street in front of a car? Uh, Kotone-san, are you okay? Kosuke-san, Did you sprain your ankle? Stop! Don't try to stand up! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, grandfather. My grandfather. I know. I know. It's okay. I'm here with you. Her ankle wasn't broken, but it was swollen. I knew I should take her back to the hospital to get it checked out. I carried her on my back and started walking back towards where we came from. This brings back memories. Did you know that I carried your grandfather like this when I found him on the streets? On the first day we met? He told me he hurt his foot back then, but I now know it was a lie. He was probably already aware of his condition. I have to say, this feels like destiny. Who would have thought I'd be carrying both a man and his granddaughter on my back like this? Wait, what is this feeling? It almost feels like deja vu. It's like, I carried her on my back before any of this happened. Kosuke-san. The swings? Yes, do you remember? The girl who wouldn't get off the swings. The sun was setting like it is now, and she was bawling her eyes out. Oh, please! I want to stay by your side! I don't want to go home! Daddy and Mommy are there anymore! Honey, Chad, I want to stay by your side forever! Hey, watch out! Uh, uh, oh, that hurts! Uh, it hurts so much! 
I'm sorry. I couldn't protect you. I hope it doesn't leave a scar. If it leaves a scar, Oni-chan, will you take responsibility? Huh? Promise me, after we grow older, if I still have this scar, Oni-chan, he'll be my... Yes, if the scar remains after we become adults. <gasps> I asked you to be my wife, remember? Do you remember me? I never forgot about you. Kosuke-san, you took care of me. You were so kind to me. Kosuke-san, this... This can't be. I still have the scar. Kotone-san. Kotone-chan. Oni-chan, does that promise we made as kids still count? Oh. I embraced Kotone-san. That was my answer to her question. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know where to start. You know, I waited for you. And I looked everywhere for you. You are such a wonderful man. I was sure you had found the perfect match. But I couldn't give up. That day, Grandfather had told me that he finally found you. And that he rushed out of the house to go somewhere. Izuko-san is worried about you. All he cares about is that you live a happy life. <laughs> Grandfather? <laughs> I don't want to be alone. I'm so sorry. I'm such a jerk for not remembering who you were, Kotone-san. I'm so sorry for making you wait this long. I promise I will never leave you. You will never be alone. I swear to Ikuzo-san, and to you, you can trust me. A few years later, Ikuzo-san... Grandfather... Namu, Namu! Daddy, I did it! I said, Namu, Namu! You did! I'm sure your great-grandfather heard you on his way up. Yep, he did! Hey, Daddy, hold me! Or oh, a little girl needs a ride. Piggyback! <laughs> Fine, here we go! You've gotten so big, but you're still lighter than your mom when I first gave her a piggyback ride. Oh my, honey. Did you give Mommy a piggyback ride? I did. I've carried Mommy and your great-grandpa on my back. Let's go. Yes, we should. <laughs> go, go! I looked up at the sky and saw the sun setting. It looked similar to the time I carried Kotone on my back for the first time. I'm going to keep my promise, Ikuzo-san. I started walking down a path with Kotone during my childhood. Now we continue walking down that path with our daughter. I promise to protect what we have, every step of the way. Thank you for watching! How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well!